This is video two in our series on forms in databases in Microsoft Access, and we're going to be looking at how we can improve our forms or prove your form. If this is not a gym video about how to improve your form at gym. This is how to improve your forms in Access. So when you are using forms in Access, there are a whole bunch of controls that you can use. And if you look at the top under design uh, for form controls, you can see all these different little controls that you can use and you can click on them and add them to your form to add extra features to them. So like we did in the previous video, we added some, we, we, when we designed the form, we added a whole bunch of fields to it. Now, if you left out some fields and you wanted to add them again, then you could use the label to put in a nice little place where you can type in what the, what the, the name of the field is. And then to actually put in the data for the, the, the fields, you can use a text box. The text box can also be used for other things like formulas or calculations. So those are the two little things there that you can use over there, which is quite nice. So, but if you add a text box and you want it to link to a particular field, then you just go to the properties of that text box and you just change its control source to be the field that you want it to be. We'll show you an example when we get to the actual form. So there we go, change that control source. And then when you see the form, it'll look like that. So you can actually see the word contact number in the actual text box, which means it's linked to the the contact number. So whatever the contact number value is for that particular record will now be displayed in that text box. So those are great. Now there's the example of the label and there's an example of the text box. So you can see what it looks like. Another control that you could use on your form, for example, maybe you've got uh, the division and you want, at the moment it's got like an A or a B or a C, but it's in a text box. Maybe a better field would be something like a list box. So there's a list of options that would look a little bit better, especially when you want to enter in a new record. You want to see what are the options available to you. Another example of a list box, another variation of a list box is a combo box, which is almost like a drop down version of the list box. But there's a combo box that work very very similar so you can select which option you want from the, the options available so instead of allowing the user to enter in a division because maybe they put in a division that doesn't exist you can limit them to say hey you just ch check one of these options you can choose only one of these please so that's what we can do so when you click on one of these options and you add them to your form the lovely thing is that the combo box or the list box wizard will appear and it'll take you through a couple of steps about what you actually want um, in this particular list box or combo box for example if you want to get the values from another table so maybe you've got all the options saved somewhere else so you can go use that other table if you want or you could use to type them in yourself so we'll do an example of that so another option would be if you've got a field already and you don't want to add it in, but you've got the division there and you want to change it, you can actually right click it on the, the, the field and you can change it to something. So in this case, you can change it to a list box or a combo box. So those are our options as well. And then another uh, control that is very useful is this little one over there. It looks like it's got the X's on it. That's the button field. And that button allows us to add little things to our field that can do automatic uh, things. They are pre-built into Access. So when you click on a button and add it, then the button wizard will appear and it'll take you through the steps. And you can specify things about like record navigation. Maybe you want to go to the last record. Instead of using those little things at the bottom, you want to write your own ones. Maybe you want some record operations. Maybe you want some form operations. Maybe you want to open up a report. Maybe you want to have them access a particular report from this form. So things like that. So all of these are available to you whenever you are designing your form. So let's go try them out in Access. So here we are in Access and there's the form that we created in the previous video. So I'm going to just go look at what it looks like. So there we go. We changed, made a few changes to it. So there we can make it a little bit, look, look a bit better. So let's try and add a particular form. Now we had a field called outstanding, which had the outstanding amount. Um, and I want it in my form, but I don't have it over here. So instead of recreating this form, I'm going to just go to design view. Boom. And I'm going to just make this a little bit big at the bottom so that I can get some space at the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's move that down a bit more. Boom. And there we've got our controls under design. So this is a different version of Access. So it looks a little bit different, but it's all the same. So there we got our text box. If you move your mouse over, it'll tell you what it is. So you don't need to remember it. And there's our label. So I'm going to click on this text box. Boom. And I'm going to drag this text box to my form. And there we go. It's unbound. And there's that actually adds a text field for you. So I'm going to drag that a little bit back and then move that, just that individual one up so that it's all nicely lined up with the others or close to lined up. 
So there we go. So we've got the nicely lined up now. I'm going to change this text, this label here yeah, to outstanding. And I actually want it to look exactly like these other labels over here. So I'm going to click on this other label and I'm sure we've got a way that we can copy the font and stuff like that. So there you can see all the fonts that are available to you. If I click on home, you can click on format painter. So I'm going to copy the format of that one and then I'm going to apply it to outstanding. So there we go. That's also quite nice. Um, I'll probably spelled outstanding with a capital U. That's fine. So at the moment you see it says unbound. So it's not linked to anything. So you can type in a formula by typing in equal to and you can actually do some sort of sum and stuff like that. You can do all sorts of wonderful things. Um, the other thing that you can do is you right, you can go right click to, on it and you can go to properties and this will appear on the side here. So I'm going to go to data and there's control source. What, where, where's the source coming from? If I list the options. Ooh, there we go. There's outstanding. So if I click on outstanding, now it's linked to outstanding. So when I go view my form, there's nothing outstanding about Mr. Long because I'm not standing outside. But now there we go. There you can see the outstanding value is put into that field. So there we go. So that's lovely. So let's go back to design view. Now, this division, as you can see, if we looked at originally, I should stay there, boom, form view. You can see it just says A, and if you go through the records, anyone can type in whatever they want there. I actually, actually want a, I want to change that. I want to change that to a combo box. Now, you can just right-click on the division field, right-click on it, and there's our change to, and we're going to change it to a combo box. And there, it just does it for you automatically. So there you can see, boom, you can see, okay, now obviously there are no options listed, so that's a problem. So when we go to design view, we're going to click on it and go to our source for that field. So boom, so raw source, we don't want to get it from a table, so let's make it a bit bigger here. Do, 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 do. We don't want it from a table, we want to get a value list. And we want to type in the, the source, we want to say there must be an A, a B, and a C in that value list let's see if that works i think i might have to put them in double quotes but let's just try it out so now when i click on it do you see it's got a b and c there okay so there we go so there we go so that's a little bit nicer to look at so we've got all our options available if you don't like that if you want to create your own one you can actually let's just delete that division so i'm deleting it so it's gone completely i want to add let's say we don't have division there and we want to add it so you can use our controls over here so we've got our combo box over there and our list box is over there. There's our list box. I'm going to add a list box. Let's put it over here. So you can add a little list box. And it will take you through a wizard which asks you, do you want to get the values from a query? In this, our case, no. We want to get them from a um, the ones that we want to type. In our previous video, we had like cars or trips that got particular cars. In that case, I might want to get it from a particular query because the car table has a list of all the, the car registration numbers. But in our case, we, would, we can just type it in. And then it says, hey, which order the fields? Well, there's an A, there's a B, and there's a C. So I'll put in my values next. And do you want to remember for later use? No, we want to store this in which field? We want to store this in the division field. So we say, make sure that you select which field it must be stored in. And then we can give it a name. I'm going to call this division. And it will give that the label division. So there we can see division. So let's view it. And there we go. We've got our A, B, and C. Now you want, might be wondering, why is the B first? Well, when we did the table, we had a, um, a lookup wizard for this field. And we put the B first. So you can just go change it there if you want to make sure that the A appears first. So that was our, our previous video. So there we go. That's how you can make a combo box. Now some lovely things we can do at the bottom in the in the, the form footer. It's nice to have some buttons. So instead of using those options at the bottom, we can add our own buttons. So there is the button in this version. It doesn't have the X's, but you can see it looks like a button. And you just drag your button down. And then this wizard will appear. And you can say maybe I want to go to the last record. So let's go click on that one. And then you just go through the wizard. Do you want it to be a picture? You can choose which picture you want. Uh, do you want to rather have it say text? No, I like the picture. The picture's cooler. And go finish and you give it a command. That's great. So now I've got one option there. And then I can add another button. Let's see what other options we've got available. So we've got a button that can go to the different records. We've got operation, like maybe you want to add a new record or delete, or maybe you want to print a record or save it. Um, maybe we want to close the form or open the form or start, open up a different form. Those are the types of things you can do. You can open a report, go view a report. 
Maybe you want to open, quit the application completely, or maybe you want to go run a query or a macro. So let's say we want to, let's say we want to close the form. We want to close this form, go next. And do we want the stop sign or do you want the exit doorway? I want the exit doorway. I like the exit doorway. Yes, so there we go. So now I've got two little buttons at the bottom of my form. So now when I run my form or when I go view it, so there I've got my buttons. I can move through my records at the bottom there. I can go to the last record, which will go to the last record. That's fantastic. The button's working. And when I click on this, it'll just close the form. Issue. Okay, we haven't saved yet, so we can say yes, save. But the next time I open the form, if I just close, let's go, oh, boom, there we go. We can just close the form automatically without having to find somewhere over here to click on it. So those are the types of things you can do on your form. One more thing, let's add one more thing. Another thing you can add, if I go to all these controls, you can learn all about them, all the different options. I'm gonna add that one over there, which is an image. You can put a nice little image over here. Let's put in an image and it will ask you to find what image you want. I'm gonna add my logo over here and it adds it. And when you click on the image, you can obviously change its height and its width and stuff like that. And, it's, and you can change how it looks. So those are types of things you can change. I can change it to a three by three image. And so there we go. If you want to do that, or you can just use these handles to make them a bit smaller and so on. Okay, so that's how you can add an image. You can also use this to add an image. But if you use this one, just remember, if you use this option, make sure that you select, if you can't find the image you're looking for, it might be under all files if you want to go look there. So those are little tips there. So there we go. Now we've added some nice stuff to our form. It makes it look, look a lot more nicer. It makes us be able to use the form a lot more efficiently with our buttons and stuff like that and our controls that we've got. So there we go. Well done. You've got a lovely new form now. Okay. For more videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channels, press the subscribe button and press the like button. We'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.